Welcome back to Off the Rack Rebellion, the podcast where we talk about costuming in Star Wars and how to take everyday finds and incorporate them into everyday cosplay. Billy, hello. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> good. How are you? <laughs> Pretty good. I'm not going to do the joke. I'm not doing the joke. <laughs> okay, don't. Do I said just we just recorded in another episode. Everyone Here's, knows I'm, it. I'm dropping the veil. <laughs> I'm I staring right into the camera. I'm looking right at at the people. <laughs> <laughs> we record these in batches, okay? We got we tight do. schedules and different time zones, like eight <laughs> hours apart. Eight so hours of difference I for time know. zones. I know, and it's um, like currently Friday night for you, so we gotta we gotta wrap. Yeah, this up I know. I've, I've already poured a glass of wine, so we're get this oh, on it the is road. a wine glass episode, people. <laughs> it's gonna get crazy. <laughs> I uh, have tea. So today we're talking about tops and bottoms, right? Yes. We thought we the would basic. continue. Yeah, we thought we would continue our our coverage of of the basics, right? We've done well. We did hot Dennis in summer, which was a little different, and we did, um, you know, a footwear and stuff like that. Tops and bottoms. What are your thoughts <laughs> on? Gosh, what are your thoughts on yeah. tops? Why don't we start on tops? Let's start on tops. On tops, I mean, there are several silhouettes you can choose from, which is fantastic mm -hmm. because I feel like. You get some different feels. Um, we've already talked about the fabric, so we won't go into that as much. Yeah. I feel like the tops have not changed much in almost 50 years of Star Wars, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, they haven't, which is good because it, it gives you this visual of that's Star Wars, right? Yeah. Like automatically. I think it could be as simple as simple as a long sleeve Henley. The one that I'm wearing today, um, listeners, is a, it's actually not really a Henley because um, it doesn't have any buttons, but it is mm -hmm. split open the same way. Um, so it's like all the guesswork is done. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and this is something that I would very regularly pick as my base. And usually like the when I'm building a look, like the base is very simple. Um, because I know that a jacket's going to cover it, or a vest is going to go over it, or other things are, are going to go over it, I very rarely do a look where it's just a shirt. Like we don't really see that that much. Uh, there, there's usually something else, and and um, even in that very uh, famous, um, very famous sort of hero shot of Finn and Poe um, in the um, not the Last Jedi. What came after that? The last of the sequel movies. Anyway, they're up oh, on the hill. Rise of Skywalker. Rise of Skywalker. They're up on the hill, and they're both in just shirts. Oh, actually, no. Finn is wearing Finn is wearing mm -hmm. a vest, but um, it's a Henley cut. Yes. You know, um, I think um, I think the thinner the better. I don't think you want to start your base layer with anything that's too thick. Stuff's gonna go over top of it. That's why you see so much, you know, linen used. I think yeah. it's very thin. It's very very breathable, um, and it's always a good just sort of base. Obviously, the the rebel, the, not the rebel, the um, you know, the sort of flip down scoundrel shirt oh, like, yeah. like the Han Solo shirt yeah it's um, sort of like a double breasted with like that flap open right yeah it's like the chef shirt actually yeah <laughs> I wonder yeah. if that was what was the first one I wonder yeah if that I actually was... use a chef shirt because a bunch of our friends do for that one. yeah Absolutely. well I mean it that that is that's that's yeah. how it's sort of constructed, right? Yeah, it it's definitely is. It's that it's that double-breasted look that you don't find often, and mm -hmm. certainly not now. It was kind of a thing in the '90s for women's wear, at least. Okay. I found a couple of vintage ones, but I don't see many in in the men's wear, right? Except so for chef, uniforms. Yes, chef uniforms. Yeah. 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 And I do love that they took Han Solo's look from you know like that first like because he did have. More of kind of a Henley that he wore open, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Very simple shirt. Very simple lines in A New Hope. And then I they think were it was like, a Henley with the collar cut. Um, yeah, or, it could have been. And it then they rehemmed it. Yeah. yeah, it definitely could have been. And then they were like, well, we're going to make him look a little more fancy. So we're going to put him in this double breasted. I think yeah. the double breasted was also a harken back to old Western looks, right? Because that was. Very true. Like you think about a cowboy, like you can see a cowboy on it's, yeah, a, you know, it's always scoundrel. it's always called as a scoundrel. It's always called a scoundrel shirt. So yes. it, you know, yeah, yep. Right into town doing some gambling. I could totally see 
Yeah. I, I feel like it because it's something you already knew in the back of your mind. It helps. Mm -hmm. It helps lend that scoundrel vibe to the character for sure. Yeah. So um, absolutely. And we've got a little bit of that with um, with Lando as well. Young Lando. Mm -hmm. Right. He's got that little black turn down flap on that mm -hmm. beautiful yellow shirt, oh. um, which is again, it's like just it's simple lines, but it's just these little details that they add in. I, I yeah. Love that. So I think yeah. I think if if you if you're out there looking for something that's a good base, um, when I'm searching for stuff, um, I always um, I always search for the term standing collar Henley, mm -hmm. right? Yes. If it's something that has a collar, I will cut it. Like <laughs> you cut I, have, I have a couple because I think Jen Urso, and now I haven't looked at pictures of Jen in a while, but I think she has a little collar. I think it's maybe. a standing collar that's flapped. Collar like, that's flapped. Yes, yes. Yeah, I think that right. sort of has fallen. Yeah. But I don't mm -hmm. think the Did the traditional like collar that for a tie yeah. or whatever. I don't yes. know what that's called. A collar. Yeah, right? um, there is a. I wouldn't call a fold over collar. There is a more proper term than that, I believe. Fold yeah. over collar, so we're going to use. Maybe, um, but you know what we're talking yeah. about. The, the, yeah. the foldy downy yeah. collars. I, I think have that's done what it as well. Called. Foldy right. downy. <laughs> foldy downy. That's the technical term. I've done that too, where I've like cut the seam between like the band, right? Mm -hmm. Or you could search banded collar as well, because yeah. because that'll give you that. Mandarin collar is also used sometimes. Mandarin collar, um, yeah. They, right. A collar, a collar is made in two pieces, as you know, you know, but mm -hmm. for, for the listener, it's made in two pieces. So that foldy down bit, technical term, yes. uh, that, <laughs> the foldy <laughs> down bit is actually a separate piece. Yeah. So, so if not. you're, if you're brave, you can undo that seam and take that, um, fold down bit off. I tend to just cut them. I just finished yeah. that like shacket. Um, that yes. shirt jacket, nice. um, you know, and I cropped it and, and I, and I, I just cut the collar cause there's a seam there. So it's not going to fray. It's not going to do you'll, anything. You'll get a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Cut tiny close bit. and you'll get like a tiny bit, but it just makes but it's it look not a little fall bit apart. more worn. Yeah. It yeah, won't fall apart. It's you not going to fall apart. Stitching. Yeah, absolutely. I've yeah. done the same thing. Um, the other thing for, for tops that I've done is to search, um, words like popover. In, especially in women's clothing, there's this thing, okay. it's like pop over tunic, right? And so then there's there's no buttons. That? It's literally just a shirt that you pull on over your head. They, it's like okay. pop over is this like I don't know, maybe J. Crew invented it. I don't know. Okay. But it's like so you can search that or like like tunic tops and then um smock. Smock. The one thing if you do want that look work, because we do see sometimes in Star Wars you can tell like there's some sort of closure, you we just don't see buttons. Um, mm -hmm. you can search for covered placket. That's the button placket. Covered placket. Covered placket. Yeah. Perfect. You don't always get much because not a lot of people know that term. Mm -hmm. Um, but you can search that. And then if you find a great shirt that you love, but it doesn't have the covered placket, it still has buttons. Take Even the buttons right. off. Yeah. I take the buttons off. I sew them onto the back side, the opposite side. So you're buttoning it. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, so that's big I'm gonna have to sh I'm gonna have to you got to show me that. Visual. Yeah. Yes. Well, so, and then, when, you know, like quote unquote, men's and women's clothing closes on one side or the other, depending on which gender. It's yeah. What is that about? It's a very, yeah. it's a very antiquated thing about women had maids, put them in their clothes, whatever. Dressed in, yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 And so, it's stupid. I wear men's clothes all the time. So, I wear women's just, clothes all the time. <laughs> okay, there you go. Exactly. So it's gonna, you might feel a little bit, it's like a backwards way of buttoning your shirt then because the mm -hmm. buttons are the, on the inside of the top layer. Right. But it right. covers that. And right. so then, you know, you That's can turn so smart. Shirt. That's like big it, brain stuff. Yeah. <laughs> That's so, so smart. I never as thought long of as, that. As long as it's something that goes all the way down because if it's something like a Henley that only has a few rows, you can't change oh hang on yeah you can you can no, change it good yeah, yeah. Right. what what i do cool. is um sometimes like i know that i'm gonna be wearing other things sometimes i know i'm gonna wear some kind of like wrap or scarf around my neck or, or there was a time period where i was doing a lot of like uh sort of you know just like a neck bandana kind of thing in, in one yeah. color um again evoking that sort of westerny sort of scoundrelly mm -hmm. kind of thing um what I would do is the button that I'm not going to use, which because mm -hmm. I always leave that top one so that I get like a flap down situation, yes. you know, it's kind of evoking yep. that, is that top one's never used. It's gone. 
just cut it off. You know? Yeah. Yeah. You don't exactly. need that. Totally. You don't need it. I never use it. Yeah. Because yes. I never button that top one. So I just get yeah. rid of it. Yeah. On that jacket that I was working on, I'm never going to wear that closed. I specifically sized down on that one. Yeah. Um in, in order in order to have a bit more of a of of a hang open feel mm -hmm. um because it is a shirt so there's there's um if you get your exact size it's obviously going to close mm -hmm. uh yeah. when you when you wear it and even if you have it unbuttoned you're going to have sort of two you know two sides kind of trying to Mm -hmm. trying to close exactly. themselves yeah. you know they overlapping even if there's hanging there right exactly yeah. which doesn't really look like that star wars silhouette so mm -hmm. there's a tip for tip for tops <laughs> <laughs> is um is when you when you know that you're gonna wear something open that's not going to ever be closed um size down usually in well at least in men's like where you gain size is in the length and in the sort of around the midsection. Mm -hmm. So the shoulders, there's very minimal change. Obviously, if you're doing like a small and a large, there's going to be a big change from there. But like a medium to a large or a large to an extra large, there's not much change um, in the shoulders. And what I find, especially because I'm like a, I'm a rounder gentleman, is that sometimes I need like to size up if I want something closed, which means now I've lost my shoulder because now the shoulder is uh, seam is hanging down a little bit yeah. and it starts to sort of it starts to fall apart right mm -hmm. so when i know i'm going to wear something open i will opt for that perfect shoulder and then this will never close but guess what i'm never going to close it yeah, so yeah. i want it to hang open i want that little gap there so that's Perfect. that's a that tip Han i think Solo a tip gap, in general right? yes and i think a tip in general like you know dress if dress for your shoulders i think yes. you know don't I love dress that. for the yeah anyway. right and we talk about we talk about this a lot like at least our friends i think is like when somebody wears something that like the cut and the lines look right on their body right mm -hmm. and i feel like that's a big thing with these like star wars mm -hmm. characters is like you're like man this cut just works for this character and i think you can tell a big story with that like, and yeah and it's and it's slightly thing. different that's why i always look for vests when I'm looking for vests, I always, mm -hmm. I kind of tend to look for, uh, look in the women's section. Yeah. Um, they're, they're sort of cut a little bit better. They're darted so that they kind of come in mm -hmm. at the sides a little bit. And what yeah. I want it is I want it to hug my sides. I want it to hit my shoulders right. I want it to hang open. Um, and I want it to be, I want that bottom hem to be higher. Mm -hmm. And that, that's Star Wars right there. Yes. You know? Exactly. Totally. So you can get something that's off the rack that will yeah. work depending on your, you know, on your height and, and stuff. Yeah. Um, you can get something that works directly off the rack if maybe for for guys if you're looking in the women's section. Absolutely. You know? And otherwise, I crop for, everything. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I know. Well, and I, I'm, I'm actually I'm typical. I've just recently looked this up. I am average height for women in the United States, but I feel very short <laughs> because I don't know. I think they make a lot of. A lot of styles to be for taller people, which makes sense because it's harder. So, so I'm always cropping things. <laughs> well, I think I think it's it's the mass production uh, of yeah. it all. They yeah, need yeah. to be able to fit many bodies. Yes, and as, the way to do that, the way to do that is to go slightly larger. You yeah. know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so I'm always so that, constantly cropping things to be like, yeah. oh, I want. This I mean, as as as, as the way. as the brands, as the manufacturers, they'll just say mm -hmm. like, make everything slightly larger so everything mm -hmm. kind of fits more people. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah. But that's not what we're looking for in Star Wars. You know? Yeah. No, we're looking. Yeah, it is. It is a very, like, yeah, cropped and very fitted a lot of times. Mm -hmm. Unless you're talking about like robes or something like that right but right but like for these denizens and for these scoundrels like it is very much like even like you look at greedo and like his flight suit is like mm -hmm. fitted <laughs> you know mm -hmm. like it's he's got like a quilted vest but it's still like a very fitted to his form um yeah, yeah and, and very high, high up and we yeah. saw that with yeah. we saw that with osha and the mechnic mm -hmm. like we did. um also yeah. who else am i thinking about i mean everyone 
and again, I guess I guess it does have a lot of sort of influences from from Western stuff. And maybe we should do an episode just on scoundrels. I think that would maybe. be great. Yeah, yeah. Do some scoundrel um, looks. But to lay the base on it, like I think that is also the sort of cowboy like waistcoat. Mm -hmm. They're yes. higher up, you know. Um, they're always like an inch above the belt. I think I think sort of vest and Star Wars kind of are are around that. Like what mm -hmm. the, what you want to show is is the belts. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. you got to show off want, the multiple yeah. belts. <laughs> that's why they did it. Like that's yeah. I for, I forget where I where I saw that, but they they hiked up the. Um, they hiked up that the the hem because they wanted to show off the belts, the blasters, the the all of the accessories and greeblies that are that are on buckle, the belts. The cool buckle, yeah. Exactly, you know. So they don't want anything interfering with that. Even yeah. when they're kind of bending bending down or creeping around, it's still like above that belt line. Yeah. You know. Yeah, totally. Also, just a historical bit in the seventies, the Western look had made a comeback as well so i just Big. i often think about that that it's Big. like yeah it is this callback to um you know like these old westerns but it also was very much still the fashion of the time Style as well time. which i it, i find fascinating so yeah and we've come back i feel like you know yeah um yeah so that I, I am often talking about like you know pants at the waist like like the low right the low rise doesn't quite work a, because I'm a mom that moves around, but B, it doesn't look as much like Star Wars to me. Um, no, you know, you look at like Carrie Fisher's. higher or normal. Yeah, yeah. You look at Carrie Fisher's like jumpsuit from Empire Strikes Back, and even like that belt on that jumpsuit, it's it's at the waist, right? Mm -hmm. um, which is also a little trick for any of you out there who has short legs like me. It helps make your legs look longer. <laughs> so it's like, yeah, I think it's, it's form and its function. So, I, I think we're it. trying to like, yeah, stress that look, sort of longer leg, shorter torso, which is very 70s, you know? It is. Yeah, yeah. They're you know? really trying to like wearing like clogs and bell bottoms and like elongating that line, right? For sure. When I was working with uh, Emma from Gabbercrete to create mm -hmm. my jacket, um, yeah. that's what she was talking about a lot. Yeah. She's like every, like my, my base sort mm -hmm. of... Um, my base idea is, that is to always use that sort of 70s cut because that oh, nice. is what Star Wars established, yes. you know? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. It's a bit higher up. I went it even is. a little higher. <laughs> yeah, maybe. I know. I often think about um, like Lando's look too. Like his original look is very, I'm always like. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, Gone to the disco and very disco. <laughs> right? yeah. very I love disco. that they did that. I love and I love that they then took that to young Lando as well. Like that yellow yeah. shirt outfit is oh. one of my favorites. It's like it's just the colors that they did with that yellow and that teal inside the black cape. I just mm -hmm. you know, it makes me so happy. But my favorite moment, <laughs> my favorite styling moment in that movie is him using his scarf as a sling to hold up his his arm because his <laughs> arm was hurt. I was yeah. like, oh, that is that's that's <laughs> peak like that's so stylish like only lando would do that I hang know, on right? let me use my silk scarf yes. like, you know <laughs> what is he gonna do he's not gonna put like some dirty bandage yeah right himself. oh no no, like, no 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 it doesn't go with my outfit that. Yeah. Yeah. no way like exactly this is our may <laughs> <laughs> yeah right <laughs> um <laughs> Anyway, sorry, Lando tangent. <laughs> yeah. So, um, um, what about so what about bottoms? Yeah. So we're going into bottoms because we're talking yeah. about like the high waisted. Obviously, like that natural waist is, which can be hard to find. What drives me crazy as somebody who buys a lot of their clothing secondhand is when mm -hmm. somebody lists something as high rise and it's nine inches, and I'm like, that isn't high. So if you know if you don't know what a rise is, it's it's basically the measurement from the middle seam of the crotch up to the waistband on both sides right okay and so knowing that like if you don't know your rise like get a, a fabric measuring tape and like measure your jeans from that center seam where all the seams come together mm -hmm. up the back up the front you know like put them on like see where it hits your body um and then God, if you're selling clothes online, list that accurately, please. <laughs> it's my list biggest. Your rise. It's my biggest like complaint ever in the world. I'm such an old lady, um, but that that is your rise. And so, like when things like for me as a person that has a, a longer torso, like 
we're talking like 11 inches for a front rise is like where it's like at my waist. Right. And so okay. it's going to hit people differently, but um, yeah, start, start measuring those things. Like it's just, and you'll, I don't know. It's, I think it's interesting. It's, it's how the clothing fits on your body. Uh, and it's, yeah, it's important for the silhouette, I think. Yeah. So, so we do see a lot of different um, kinds of, of, of pants, obviously, mm -hmm. obviously the cargo pants, yes. <laughs> but you know how I feel cargo about cargo pockets. Pants. They're not like, cargo pockets. Um, I tend to like, what I with regarding cargo pockets, what I don't like is like the dad car, like cargo pants, like that are, you know, the regular like on the side dad. He's going to the store. He's going to mow the lawn later. Um, I think it's much more interesting if you can find them um, cargo pot pockets that are on the front mm -hmm. of the mm -hmm. pants. I think mm -hmm. that always sort of tends to push it a bit more. Uh, in universe, obviously there's there's obviously the the Mandalorians have pouches that are yeah. that are on the front. Boba Fett, um, mm -hmm. so it just sort of evokes those kinds of um, mm -hmm. those kinds of things, uh, those kinds of uh, images. And um, wait, what's that company? I'm just drawing a blank. I know. I was just about to say yeah. because I have those pants, <laughs> like five the, yeah, pairs the ones, of them. Yeah, the with ones. The front. <laughs> <laughs> G -Star I have Ra. those two, right? The G Star Raw, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and they, they have, like, are great. Slanted. Yes, yes, it works. It, it it works. They also do. They also do. Um, they also do side cargo stuff, but they mm -hmm. it's it's different. Like you said, they're like slanted. Yeah. It's just that regular like patch pocket like yeah. square one that I'm totally. like. You could do. You could do more. You could do. Yeah. I believe in you, people. You can yeah. do better than that. Like <laughs> we can get a little creative with the pockets. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Yeah. I think also like the difference between like the big billowy pocket where there's been extra room built in, and right. I know there's a sewing term to that, and I can't remember accordion. Um, yes, I knew that to, as well. Because then it, like it like hangs off. Right. I think we see that on Boba Fett's jumpsuit actually. Yep. So like depending on the silhouette that you're going for, but yeah, I know what you mean. Like those big just dad cargo shorts is what I think of, or it's yeah. just like these huge pockets, and it's like. And it's just, they're just they're just square. Yeah. They're just very yeah, they're, just they're very square. boring. They might as well Absolutely. not be there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, for well sure. And there. one you thing can barely I find, see them. Yeah, one thing I find with the cargo pockets can get difficult, especially if there's those bigger ones. When you wash them, the the flap gets all crinkled up. And this happens to my shirts all the time. Right. I don't know if you've noticed like my shirts like the flaps will be all like or my jumpsuits. <laughs> I gotta either stitch those things down or iron them because they're right. like wrinkled. It's probably like, that. I don't iron everything. But yeah, like, it's probably yeah, I don't that. iron anything either. I like I'll line dry before I'll iron. You know what I mean? I'll yeah. be like, if I flatten this out now, it'll be fine. But I feel like like one part of the Star Wars look is a very streamlined look in many cases. So I feel like any pockets that are more streamlined to me, unless it's a big billowy flight suit like Boba Fett has. Yes. I, and this is, I'm glad that you mentioned that because um, I was going to go into like, you know, obviously cargo pants, obviously moto pants. They have like all these like interesting things, yeah. but I, I tend to stick with just a, a, a very kind of slim legged trouser. Oh yeah. Yeah. Like I don't get like, I, I I very rarely very rarely wear those G stars, right? It's mm -hmm. now they're for a specific costume. Okay, so okay, gotcha. I don't wear them for for I rarely wear them. Sometimes yeah. I'll remix my closet, but like um, usually if um, like for my for Maddox's like hero look with those burgundy pants, they're just like I found a brown a, a brand of of you know of trousers that mm -hmm. I liked, and they came in like a rainbow of colors nice. so i snatched up a bunch right yes. um i've got blacks i've got grays i've got like you know sort of sort of orangey colors like these rust um colors uh i've got burgundy ones i've got the full range green like you know od greens um these these like you know really deep teals like i've got nice. the range like when i open up my drawer i have them all like marie kondo folded so it's yeah. just like beautiful oh, yeah. like colors from like left and right um so anyway um, i found a pair that i loved it came in a bunch of colors i bought a bunch of them right nice now i can remix them um i tend to think that a slimmer leg simple 
simple, simple, right? There's no, but yeah. there's just regular pockets on it, right? Yeah. A simple Henley, that's my base to everything. Like if nice. I needed to, if someone held a gun to my my head and said, you have, you have 30 seconds to build like a, a Star Wars <laughs> outfit, right? <laughs> I would go this for a new Henley. reality I would, TV show. I know. I don't know. Yeah, exactly. Right. You'd go. I'd go for a Henley. I'd go for a very simple trouser, yeah. boots, you know, a vest. Period. Yeah. Like, yeah. Absolutely. Once you start to get like, once you start to get a little more elaborate with the pants, like, you either have to push it very maximalist, um, or then start to think about like, if my um, if my pants are very involved, then my top should be a little less involved. Like there are these sort of balancing rules in like styling that um, not that they need to be followed, but I think just kind of balances out and rounds out the look. There's mm -hmm. there's a quote, and I don't know who said this, um, but it goes around TikTok all, all the time and it resurges every once in a while. And it's, um, and this is, these are sort of the things that I'm thinking about when I put a, an outfit together. If it's not interesting by color, then it should be interesting through shape. And if it isn't interesting oh, like through that. shape, then it should be interesting through texture. And if it isn't interesting through texture, then it should be interesting by color. And we come all the way back around. Oh, I like so it. if if you start to sort of build things that way, you can you can sort of take a little step back. And I always try to look at the whole outfit as a whole. Um I, I very often, even if I don't always shoot them, like I always lay my stuff out in flat lace to when I'm sketching. That's how, like how I sketch like nice. something. And um, I'm always looking at the whole picture because if you bog yourself down on like, oh, these are great Star Wars-y pants. This is a great yeah. Star Wars-y shirt. This is a great Star Wars-y bag. Like uh, you can overwhelm the look, I think, yeah. you know? I think, I think also like kind of going off of that, oh, this is a great shirt, pants, vest, or whatever combo. Like, like by laying them out, you get that feel of your color scheme as well. Like, mm -hmm. because sometimes a very monochromatic color scheme can work, but then sometimes you're looking for actually contrasting colors mm -hmm. can all, you know, can also work. And so, and, and, and we were talking like in, in our last episode about the accolade, like color schemes can really tell a story about a character and can really mm -hmm. place maybe where you're from or what you've done or who you're affiliated with or anything like that. And so, yeah, the color scheme, you know, you can have fun with it, I think. Absolutely. So, yeah. Um, another thing that I was thinking is that this kind of formula, you know, this like this, shirt this either vest or jacket over at these pants it goes like you can go scoundrel you can go denizen you can go like just by changing those silhouettes a little bit it's that mm -hmm. formula but, like if i'm going more of like a like a street vendor or something that i don't want to look like a scoundrel it's a little more billowy it's a little still i'm yep. gonna probably have that high rise because they often have a belt that's like wrapped around their vest or their jacket right mm -hmm. um and so instead of the belt the multiple belt on the pants it's like you kind of have that as like an outer layer but it's a little more billowy and it's a little more loose but but i agree like that streamline that slim simple pant for everybody else right <laughs> like for like the scoundrel or for like even even folks who are like in the rebellion or something like that it's usually that kind of more tapered and all that or like looking looking then at like lando and looking at Dra drayden voss right like i looked at yeah. his look recently and he he does have a little bit more of a of a flare a right flare yeah and i was yeah. like oh that's kind of giving us because those two both have it i feel like that's giving us this little more like elevated style look right um, yeah i think it's money yeah yeah i think it's yeah. money and i think that's sort of uh yeah. um in the language that maybe that maybe that sort of 70s disco look yeah. for yeah. for the male characters uh is an indication of of wealth of, of yes. money you know yeah yeah, yeah maybe it, it maybe it's the equivalent of oh i don't have to get out and do dirty work so my pants can be a little flared and i don't Absolutely. worry about them dragging on the ground yeah. or something <laughs> yeah and not like bloused into the boots uh, yeah yeah as it's well. not practical yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. definitely yeah gosh i'm trying to think if there's anything else kind of across the board and obviously we have like we have robes 
in the Jedi and in the people who are in the Senate and in the, you know, like that's a different. The Coruscant. Yeah. Yes. The Coruscant. I feel like, I feel like we should do a whole episode on like the upper crust, right? Like oh, that's absolutely. a different. I will admit it's probably more difficult to dress in the street style <laughs> our era and <laughs> pull that off. You know what I mean? Like yeah. we're just not seeing it a lot in the countries we're in, but um, yeah. it's interesting to explore those looks someday. But I think that this is the easy formula for like regular everyday clothes to look like Star Wars for sure. Yeah. Yeah, you can find stuff uh, anywhere and and pull pull out something, you know. And then once you start to like really get into it, then you you know, you can crop a vest or something. I've 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 had vests that uh, you know were all over my Instagram and then eventually got cropped, you know. Like, yes, yes. So it takes yes. it all takes us all a while, you know. And I've got now my my favorites that weren't so much my favorites when they were all yeah. big and long, uh, but I made them work then. Um, yeah. Yeah. A lot of little tricks that you can do right. for vests. <laughs> the the button and the zipper talk is definitely a little trick, right? Yes, yes. I you know, I'm coming around to it. Um I think as long as it's not like over, as long as you're not wearing like Michael Jackson's beat it jacket, I think <laughs> I always good. think about that when we're talking about zippers. <laughs> I think I'm not I, the think, <laughs> I think if the if the I think now the rule of thumb is if the teeth of the zipper isn't like in your face and prominent, mm -hmm. then a zipper is fine. Okay. You know, I wow. think if it's an you active heard it here part, <laughs> I think if it's an active part of like the look, then it's a bit jarring because we don't yeah, yeah. see them as much. They're always yeah. hidden. They're very obscured. Yeah. But they, they're there. They exist. It's a functional element, not a design element. Ex oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Yes. All that's right. perfect. Perfect. Yeah. And I mean, Billy and I have both cut our zippers off of our vests and our jackets. Yeah. Absolutely. That being like said, that. I still have vests that I keep the zippers on because you know what? Mm -hmm. Sometimes in my real life, I wear them mm -hmm. closed. Same. Same. <laughs> absolutely. Or I mean, sometimes there there are certain vests. There's one that I have. Oh, I cannot remember which brand. It is secondhand. I'll have to look up to it. Uh, look it up and see which one it is. But when you zip it closed the fabric on either side of the zipper mm -hmm. comes together perfectly and it hides it's a hidden zipper. zipper yeah it's a hidden zipper yeah there we go yeah. thank you duh it's a hidden zipper yeah and i really and i don't want to lose that and actually i think i have two versions of that vest because it is secondhand i think i found two and one fits me a little bit smaller and so i took it out so mm -hmm. it stays open and one fits me like better and i i left it in if i recall um yeah, yeah. so you can you can play around with to zip or not to zip <laughs> there's a, yeah there's also um there's also zippers out there that have little like little like almost almost like plackets mm -hmm. but for yeah. but oh, for yes. the zipper area yeah. that sort of hide them my boots Absolutely. which like i will i <gasps> oh, yeah. i don't want to get into those boots but i love yeah. those boots oh my god i know i know um, <laughs> But those zip up on the side that's why they don't have yeah. laces right they zip yeah. up on the side but they have little like little hit a little flap yeah. they have a little yeah. flap and it hides the yeah i know yeah. so many i know things. exactly what you're talking about <laughs> Sorry. yeah it, it has a little flap and it hides the zipper so they're they're no longer seen yeah. and that is also yeah. um screen accurate that that happens yeah. i think andor's mm -hmm. boots are zipped up on the side mm -hmm. his at the very beginning of of this the season the series um they're zipped up on the side and hidden that way yeah. and sometimes people are like oh my god they put zippers in and or and it's like yeah but they're hidden like yeah because you can't do laces. Exist. you gotta do one or the other right yeah um, exactly and actually there are laces on Jin's boots and they're covered up by those really wide buckle flaps which yep. i keep meaning i've got a couple pair of actually i have a pair of because i've transferred to like the um transition to the the barefoot style boots right to like let my yeah. my feet go natural right um Breathe. and now yeah absolutely like flex oh it's crazy yeah um but now i i have some other boots i'm going to rip apart and take those like flaps off and cover up the laces on like my favorite pair of like hiking boots now because i'm like oh i can't find these in you know because not everyone makes this like more natural footbed shape yeah and so i'm like oh i've got to make my own but they must have done that with jen's boots because i think they used to yeah. wear fry boots for hers so um, yeah 
Yeah. I think so, you're right. Yeah. I remember yeah. that. They are fried yeah. boots. But um, if you find those, those zippers with that, that little cover, buy them. <laughs> a lot of those side zip up um, boots are like that. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. I think it just, yeah. it just kind of messes with the silhouette. Sometimes you can find yeah. some with, where the zip is on the inside, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is even better. Uh, yeah. Most of the times they're on both sides. Um, yeah. So, you know, you have to contend yeah. with, with one um, being seen anyway. Um, yes. But if you can find one, one, the one on the inside, that's where you want to go. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we're talking about boots again. <laughs> we did a whole I know, episode. Sorry. <laughs> 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 anyway, I it's think so I think, easy. It's so easy to get us on boots. Yeah. Um, but yeah, anyway, I think that's I think that's I think that's covered, right? You've got Absolutely. tops. <laughs> yeah, bottoms. we're covered. We're we're dressed. Tops and bottoms were dressed. Yeah, for sure. Perfect. Yeah. And I mean, we can definitely go in in uh I would love in future episodes to do a if you want to take this basic look and make it look more like this type of character. We'll do that. We'll do that sometime. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So. Much more visual visual episode, I think. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. We, we could do that. <laughs> uh, if you have any questions or or or, or questions uh, or comments about tops and bottoms speci specifically, and I think more so in like base layers, because um, I think we all know jackets and we all know vests. So uh, send us those questions. Maybe we can do a revisit of this topic Absolutely. and do another episode. Yeah, for sure, definitely. Well, until then, Billy, where can folks find you? I'm at Billy Maddox on Instagram. Come say hi. Absolutely. Kate, where are you? Yes, uh, I am at one scavenger's wardrobe underscore between the words on Instagram. You can find us both at off the rack rebellion with dots in between the words on Instagram. Thank you so much to our producer, Ramey and the dad batch uh, in general for having us on their network uh, of podcasts. Well, I don't know. I mean, it's just us two now, but like, <laughs> who knows where My they go. Family. <laughs> <laughs> and remember that a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away can be right here and right now.